UFC featherweight division fight. All right, so here we go, round one. I can barely hear myself think in this arena right now. Two of the most dominant, well-rounded fighters in this division. I mean, these guys are the best of all of mixed martial arts. They can do everything when they're locked inside of the octagon. I'm so excited to watch the highest level of MMA on display tonight. Great punch landing with so much power. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. The punch is blocked. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Lee gets caught with that punch. I mean, he's cutting them down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, nice. Nice. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, we'll see how he chooses to defend here. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> oh, straight right. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Back to the jab now, no good. Ball left hook to the head, it's blocked. And that one certainly found the target. Switching stances here. Good body work with that hook by Lee. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's a replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal, and if he can land, he does have the ability to damage him. Punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Lee going for the head kick. He misses there. It's a good right hand right there. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in mixed martial arts. Guys have found it, and they are fighting behind it real well. Good stick. Now connects with the right. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh! New 
Bruce Hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Big left hook coming. It's blocked. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two, much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Trying to kick the leg out. Oh! Lee gets hit by that kick to the body. Just misses with the straight right. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy is landing this kick with so much force. Back to the body shots now. That one blocked. Punch over the top. Big kick land. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Back and forth we go here. 20 seconds to go round two. Trying to go to the body here. Unable to find the target. Oh! And that's the end of round number two. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights he has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets underway. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Oh, big right hook, but a whiff. It's a nice back and forth action here. Just unable to quite find that range. Sniff that one out as he blocks the kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Hook to the head there by Lee. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter wow. take the judges out. actually got the takedown. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> Beautiful strike. Oh, he hurt him. Oh, strike attempt to the midsection. It's blocked. Oh, he tagged him with the punch there, DC. That's an educated left hand. He's got great timing with his left hand. Oh, nice jab. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Now he's got the Muay Thai block. 
And he landed the right hand there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, nice jab up top by Lee. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. That was a thudding leg kick. 20 seconds to go in the fight. Oh, nice land with the knee. You see the taller fighter having no issue getting the limb to the target there. What a fight. All right, so a close competitive fight throughout. It goes the distance. Maybe a slight striking edge on one side, and perhaps that'll be enough for him to get the knock. I mean, he's got to hope, right? He's got to hope that what he did, those exchanges where he came out in front, was enough to earn him the victory. This was a very, very close fight, and I'm interested to see who gets the decision. All right, the official decision is in. It resides with the venerable Bruce Buffett.